Mr. Sahu wants to invest for the long term. He is not saving for any particular goal. He just wants to generate more wealth. But he is confused between mutual funds and an insurance policy from LIC. Well, it's not only Mr. Sahu, but most new investors struggle to compare and figure out the better investment among n number of options available out there. Hello and welcome to our channel 5 Minute Finance by ET Money where we talk about the basics of investing and personal finance. So today in this crisp video, we are going to discuss the one tool that can help you compare between different investment options to make a better and informed investment decision. The Rambard tool that I am talking about is XIRR, Extended Internal Rate of Return. So in this video, we are going to learn what is XIRR, how to calculate XIRR in Excel. We'll take examples of mutual funds and insurance. So for insurance, we have taken a very popular plan from LIC Jeevan Anand. By the end of this video, you will be able to find out the true returns of any investment product. Or if I put it another way around, you will be able to calculate for yourself how much returns you earn from all the investments using a single formula XIRR. So stay tuned as you cannot afford to miss any part of this video. So how many of us invest only once in our lifetime? Not even one. Someone may invest monthly, second investor may invest quarterly, third investor may be investing annually and another investor may be investing as and when he has got some extra money. So we invest multiple times and mostly the pattern is irregular. Now, let me take an example. Look at your screens. So I started a 5000 rupees SIP in a mutual fund on 1st January 2023. I invested the same amount every month till 1st December 2023. That is for a year and at the end of December same year, the value of my investment was 70,000 rupees. So I invested a total of 60,000 and the current value is 70,000. If I calculate the absolute returns, that is simple returns, that's easy math. It will be 70,000 minus 60,000 divided by 60,000 multiplied by 100. Comes out to be around 17%. But that's the wrong way of doing it. Why? Because I did not invest all the 60,000 rupees at once. So all the SIP installments have not completed 12 months of investment. What becomes important here is the time. Time matters and that's where XIRR comes into the picture. Now look here. Let's calculate the true returns of the series of investment. What you have to do is write down the date of investment in a column. Next, write down the investments made. Like I have written monthly 5000 investment as minus 5000. Write for all the dates. Next, write the current value of the investment in positive. So in my example, I have mentioned 70,000 as current value at the end of the period. It may be the current value or the redemption amount or the maturity amount, basically the worth of your investment at the end of the period for which you want to calculate the returns. Now let's calculate the XIRR. So you write equal to sign and mention XIRR. Start the bracket. Now select all the cash flows, then put a comma and select all the dates. Now close the bracket and press enter. Multiply the answer with 100 to make it into percentage form. So you see my actual returns on this monthly series of investments is 32%. So XIRR, which stands for Extended Internal Rate of Return, is a method used to calculate the annualized return on investment when cash flows happen at irregular intervals. It takes into account all the cash inflows and outflows along with the dates on which they occurred. XIRR considers the timing and amount of each cash flow, making it a more accurate method for investments with irregular cash flows. So not only for a single scheme or investment, suppose you invest lump sum as well in the same fund as and when you have some extra savings, you can add them on the Excel with date and amount and the XIRR formula will take care of that as well. Now, let's move to an example of an insurance product. So, very popular plan from LIC, Jeevan Anand. Let's look at the actual returns using the XIRR method. Insurance mis-selling is a very common practice. Most of the households have several insurance policies. While some may be good ones, the other may be a result of mis-selling. To avoid falling prey to such mis-selling, Use the XIRR formula to calculate true returns of an insurance plan. So coming back to LIC Jeevan Anand plan. Meet Mr. Sahu. He's 30 years old, planning to go for a policy term of 20 years, some assured 50 lakh. And we have assumed that he survives the policy term. So look at the Excel sheet. 
This is a true illustration taken from the LIC website. So the premiums for Mr. Sahu came around 28, 29,000 rupees annually. You need to focus on only two columns here, the dates and the amount. Ignore the extra information mentioned in other columns on your screen. So as we did earlier, we wrote the dates. The investments or premiums were written with a minus sign and the inflows, that is the maturity amount of 96 lakh after 20 years of policy was written in positive. Now let's put the XIRR formula. So XIRR of LIC Jeevan Anand's plan for Mr. Sahu comes out to be 4.7%. That's around 5%. So the actual returns are around 5% annualized. One thing more, remember that XIRR gives you annualized returns. So hope by now you have understood the concept of XIRR and how it can be used to calculate true returns on any investment with irregular cash flows. It will surely help you make better investment decisions. So please feel free to ask any doubts in the comment section. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends and family as well. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon to never miss a video from us. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.